for the longest time, that's, we get so focused on what our presentations look like that we forget the most important medium of that presentation is the person's voice that's speaking and the story that you're telling. Because the investor, whether they're making an investment of their time, their money, or ideally both, making an investment is in you as a founder and your team, it's you that's going to make that return for them. So just like any other relationship that you would get in that's not a business one, you kind of want to know who you're getting into a relationship with. You go on dates, you get coffees, you maybe go to the park, you do activities, you figure out who they are. And knowing what you need is a good way, is, that's a key important part in discovering which investors you should have sitting at the table. Because every investor is going to want to play a role at some level in your success. It can be a full-time job, raising around, um, looking for investors, but part of that process needs to, if you start it early enough, it's, it's not a full-time job. You know, being really clear, like that's what I started off with saying, was being really clear with what you need money-wise, where you are in the space, like what sectors and industries you play in, and how much, you know, how many different investors you want to play in that round can help. That's a good starting point to figuring out when you meet someone who says they're an investor representing a fund, figuring out whether or not they're a good fit. Um, would you distinguish between how um, entrepreneurs or regular enterprises and social enterprises fundraise? No. Nope. Um, unless you're a nonprofit and you have a nonprofit and a for profit, like a blended um, entity, it's the same deal because you want them to be mission and vision aligned. You really want to make sure as you're kind of sussing out if this is a person, do they get it? Do they get the problem that you're trying to solve, both from a social side and from a, um, a business perspective? And so you need to make sure that you're able to make a financial return and it's sustainable. Um, nonprofit or not, you still have to make enough revenue to cover your costs.